Houston's water emergency may be over, but there are still questions. Our KPRC2 Investigates team is getting answers. Investigator Robert Arnold was first to ask about the emergency alert system and why it wasn't used to notify Houstonians about the boil water notice. What about the emergency alert system, given this was a civil emergency? Uh, I thought I issued that. And today, Investigator Bill Spencer asked about upgrades to the water plant. Mayor, can you tell me, we know that there are improvements being made at that water plant right now. Uh, do those improvements have any bearing on what happened over the last couple of days? Bill is live at the East Water Purification Plant with that update. Bill? Yes, uh, Keith and Danielle, there's no doubt that this water emergency caused so much trouble for so many people. Folks couldn't send their kids to school. They had to go out and buy bottled water. In many cases, they couldn't find it, which is why we have been pressing so hard for more answers. But I am pleased to say we are no longer under a boil water notice. After more than 24 hours of a disruptive boil water order for more than 2 million Houstonians, today, Mayor Sylvester Turner revealing some good news. We pulled 29 water samples on yesterday morning uh, to see whether or not there was any bacteria contaminants. And um, I'm pleased to say that of those 29 samples, not one of them had any bacteria, any sort of contaminants. Sunday morning, city officials say both the main transformer and backup transformer at the East Water Purification Plant malfunctioned, causing an unsafe drop in water pressure. But like many homes have, the system does have generators. So why didn't they kick in? And so the generators were not able to connect because the, the back, the, the transformers uh, were not working. Uh, now, why they're not working, we'll, we'll have to make that determination. It's a fact that the East Water Purification Plant is undergoing a $23 million improvement project right now, aimed at increasing the capacity and reliability of that plant. KPRC2 Investigates asked Mayor Turner directly this morning if that work may have led to this emergency. Did those improvements have any bearing on what happened over the last couple of days? Did they possibly cause what's gone on over the last two we, days? We, we are doing a diagnostic assessment, but we do know at this point, uh, not too long ago, uh, a, a review was made of the East Water Purification Plant to see whether or not it was resilient, hardened, and the report came back that uh, the East Water Purification Plant had sufficient backup. So again, the mayor is saying he has ordered a diagnostic assessment. He's looking for answers. So are many of us. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News. All right, Bill, thank you, sir. A big frustration for many Houstonians had to do with when they found out about the boil water notice. Turns out Mayor Turner wanted an emergency alert system push alert issued, but that never happened. KPRC 2's Lisa Hernandez follows up with what went wrong and what the city plans to do to expedite notification.